What's up guys, this is Paco Minel back with another quick video review. Today I have the Magic 468 TKL typewriter keyboard. Right off the bat, this has to be the most beautiful keyboard I've ever laid my eyes on. The unique steampunk design of the circular typewriter keycaps is right up my alley, and I absolutely love the design. Though this Magic 468 comes with white LEDs, I think it looks way more elegant without it. For such a tiny lightweight board with a brushed aluminum base, it sure feels sturdy and doesn't feel cheap at all. Build quality is a solid thumbs up despite its super compact design. Offering tons of functionality in a compact package, the Magic Force is equipped with 4 directional keys and 4 navigation keys, not to mention function keys integrated into the number row. The Magic Force also comes with 3 dip switches that allow you to disable the Windows key, swap caps lock with left control, or swap the Windows key with the functions. The Magic Force also features a floating key OEM design. Fitted with clear legends, the keycaps allow the backlighting to truly shine, while the reflective brushed metal plate adds to the effect. The keyboard itself is very stable due to the plastic base fitted with 4 rubber pads as well as 2 foldable feet. This 68% keyboard comes in grey, black, or silver, and you can choose from a variety of Cherry Mech switches from Mastrop as well as Gateron switches. The one I have in my hands right now comes with Gateron Brown switches. Do note that these switches are compatible with all Cherry Mech keycaps, so plus one for customizability if you wish to change the keycaps. But let's face it, just look at this thing. I don't think I'll ever change the keycaps on this because the typewriter design is just absolutely beautiful. It's very easy to overlook the fact that typing on this feels a bit mushy compared to other mechanical boards. I'm not sure if this is due to the Gateron Browns or because of the special keycap design. However, it still gives off that satisfying mechanical feel we all know and love. In true Gateron fashion, pressing on this board feels very light, lighter than Cherry Max switches in particular. Although the Gateron Browns on this thing requires less actuation force to actually compared to blue switches, the keycap design made it harder to actuate the keys. Being the most popular choice, Gateron Brown switches are tactile and quiet and are great for office use. These are a great choice for programmers, writers, or anyone who works long hours in front of a computer. It requires 45 grams of force to actuate and it has a pre-travel distance of 2.0 millimeters. Here's a quick sound test so you can hear how it sounds. Overall, typing on this feels satisfying enough, and definitely more tactile than membrane switches, although it is a bit mushier than Gatron Blues. I definitely wouldn't recommend this board for gaming use as it doesn't feel nearly as precise with the special keycap design. But if you're using this for typing in office work, you'll definitely have a great experience typing on this board, which is what it's meant to be used for. I just can't stop looking at it in awe of its beautiful, classy retro design. Retro futuristic designs are my favorite, and this is definitely a plus in my book. This reminds me of the $1000 Datamancer custom keyboard. For the low price of $60, this is an absolute must buy if you're a fan of its unique design, or if you're just looking for a minimalist, compact board without breaking the bank. There you have it guys, my review of the Magic 468 TKL typewriter keyboard. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. As always, I'm your host, Paco Manel, and I'll catch you in a future video. 